What's up fellow Roe cultists? Let's talk about toddlers and tiaras. It's a show that many may have forgotten about or at least hope to forget about. I really wish this thing didn't resurface in my mind, but here we are. Lately, everyone has been covering the Netflix cutie situation and Twitter outrage has also pointed out that there's been a few shows that have been really weird with kids. One of these shows being toddlers and tiaras, so let's just jump right into it. If you've never heard of this show, you're pretty lucky. It was a show that aired on TLC, you know, the learning channel, and it's about toddlers and kids competing in beauty pageants. And there are many moments in this show where I really sit back and think, why this show has a really weird portrayal of children. But as I sat there and watched this show, I found out that yes, it did have its disgusting moments, but there was an overall more consistent issue in this show. That is garbage parenting. Mothers were trying to live through their kids and use their kids like items and put their kids in uncomfortable, angry situations. There's so much petty drama on this show and vicious fights that these kids are being exposed to. They are very tiny children in a room full of screaming adults. And then there's also another whole problem with parents forcing body image and self-esteem issues onto their children. Some of these kids are being taught to rely on full faces of makeup at the age of three and that their best is not good enough. In this video, we're just gonna look at some clips that really sum up what this show was. Now, just to paint a picture, just to let you know what we're dealing with here, there's a lady coming up who decided she wanted to have kids just because she wanted to do child beauty pageants. That's it. Her children are tools for her. There's also a lady who spent $250,000 on dresses for her twin babies to compete in pageants. They can't even walk yet. They're on the stage, they can't even walk, and she spent $250,000 on their dresses. It's bad. The only thing you should spend $250,000 on is my merch. Ayo, <laughs> that was bad. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to ever do that, but I'm trying. Now sit back and relax as we look at some awful clips from the show. Mom waxes her nine-year-old daughter's eyebrows. That title pretty much says it all. Yeah, it's not a clickbait title. This is what goes on. This and so much more. To sum it up, in this video, the mom keeps insulting her daughter's appearance and suggests that her daughter needs to go through a lot of changes to be considered attractive. If it would come down to facial beauty alone, she doesn't have that particular look that a lot of judges are looking for. She does have brown eyes with the dirty blonde hair. It doesn't stand out like a beautiful redhead or a blonde hair blue eyed child. Right off the bat, she's already comparing her kids' beauty to other kids and decides that her daughter doesn't stand out. When you look at this, it's really weird that she's already getting her eyebrows waxed at the age of nine. The daughter seems to really hate it, or at the very least, is in pain and does not enjoy it. But the mom woke up and she chose violence. She chose <laughs> suffering. <laughs> On the count of four, one, two, three. A little bit of pain to win a little bit of better title. She'll take it all day long. Now earlier I said that the parents in this show seem to be giving their kids body image issues. And now we're about to roll the example. The mom calls her daughter's teeth jack-o'-lantern teeth. Let me see your jack-o'-lantern teeth. There we go. I call her my little jack o' because right now some teeth are all the way down, some aren't, some are completely missing. I like wearing my flippers so I don't look like a jack o' lantern. That's disgusting. Jack o' lanterns, yeah. It seems to be affecting the daughter because now she relies on her flippers and says she loves them more than her actual teeth. If you guys watching this don't know what flippers are, they are fake teeth coverings that are really common in pageants. The goal is basically to provide the illusion of a perfect set of teeth. This mom, in addition to waxing her daughter's eyebrows and making fun of her kid's teeth, also tans her daughter and insults the way she smiles. We're gonna go outside and take some port shots of Chloe that we can use in the pageants. Hopefully I get some good competitive photos. You gotta get rid of that smile because you look like the Joker right now. She's trying so hard to change everything about her kid and her daughter, there's nothing wrong. She's fine. She's fine. She looks perfectly fine. And even if she didn't look fine, it's not okay for the mom to insult her like this over things she was born with and can't change. One of the comments that stood out to me was mom's calling her daughter ugly. Meanwhile, she looking like Draco Malfoy let himself go. And yeah, that mom was mildly frustrating. I guarantee she's a Karen, 100%. 
but aside from some uncalled for comments and just a perception of her daughter that's really sad, this doesn't even scratch the surface of bad parenting seen in this show. It gets worse. It gets much worse. Next video is Mini Dolly Parton wows judges at the Hearts and Crowns pageant. And I don't really have any comments on any specific timestamps in this video, but this was a disaster. These parents decided they wanted their daughter to be a little Dolly Parton at the pageant, and for some reason, they thought stuffing the daughter's bra and suit was necessary for this Dolly Parton look. Not just necessary, but a great feature. And the editors of this show also put lots of emphasis on this point too, and I really gotta say, I don't think it was necessary. Stuffing your kid's bra at a child beauty pageant, it's gross. It's disturbing. I don't think it was a great idea. If you really thought your kid needed to do that to adequately portray Dolly Parton, then you shouldn't have chosen Dolly Parton. Some people in the audience and show were upset by this, but for the most part, TLC showed people supporting this decision. Judges, we all thought it was cute that Manny came in dressed as Dolly Parton, put a little stuffing in, and she looked the part. Next video is, You're not a stripper, but shake your butt a little bit. The title is a quote the mom said to her daughter in this video, so we're in for a wild ride. Here we have the mom being a little race obsessed in the sense that she seems to really care about her kid's race because of aesthetic. The difference between my son Braxton and my daughter Alaska is like night and day. Braxton being from two racial backgrounds made the most beautiful baby. He's not so cookie cutter as, so to say, the blonde hair, blue eyes, which Alaska has. She's really out here, overanalyzing her kid's race. She's got the red string out, thumbtacks and pictures stuck on the bulletin boards. She's thinking, what exact racial genetic makeup do I want to select for my child so that she succeeds? It just doesn't sit well with me. You're not a stripper, but shake your butt a little bit. Okay, why would you even say that? The daughter has more common sense. Why would you tell your daughter to do that? Why do people like this mom and Netflix think it's okay for tiny children to do this? It's not. It's like the one thing people can politically unite over, that kids should not do this. So while looking through these videos, I had a few problems, but this kid wearing a Sonic hat made me smile a little bit. So I needed to tell you about Sonic because I'm gonna show you something bad. This mom bleaches her kid's teeth regularly. To think that someone could make the mistake and try to do some sort of weird teeth bleaching once in their life is more plausible, but she does this to her kids on a regular basis. It's not just a one-off thing. She even bleaches them when her kids don't have a pageant going on. I bleach my children's teeth at least once a week, whether we have a pageant coming up or not. Don't swallow it. Don't taste good if you swallow it. <laughs> and as sad as this is, one funny thing is that the mom has to do incredible Olympic level mental gymnastics to justify this. I'm gonna be wearing flippers and I don't like the flippers. So let's at least get your teeth bleached. Flippers, I think, are kind of silly because you're literally altering what God gave them. I need to get up in there. Alaska? She says that flippers, you know, the fake teeth coverings, are silly because apparently they're altering what God gave you. So let me get this straight. Covering something you were born with is altering what God gave you, but whitening your actual teeth, making changes to your actual teeth, is not altering what God gave you. Her brain is overheating. It is about to detonate. Get some cooling fans in that thing. It is about to explode. She had a tan line on her back. I thought that it would show really bad through her formal wear. My daughter looks like a giraffe. There was some other contestant's hair that I would have died to have had on Alaska's head. Now she's saying her daughter looks like a giraffe <laughs> and how she wishes her daughter had some of the other kid's hair, and this whole time she has reeked of favoritism for her son. Your teeth are so yellow compared to his, though, baby. He's not so cookie cutter as, so to say, the blonde hair, blue eyes, which Alaska has. TLC, why? Why did you give people like this a platform? Why did you give this woman screen time where she just roasts her defenseless daughter mercilessly? Seriously though, I don't think the daughter deserves her mom speaking like this about her televised for all to see. All right, ladies, gents, and gamers, here's one of the clips I promised earlier. 
I had children so that we could do pageants. Get rid of them. Beauty hurts. That means whenever a mom is trying to put something on, she mostly hurts you. Riley, why you don't like it? Should we put them on Bob? When I was pregnant and I found out I was having a boy, I was quite upset because I actually had the children so that we could do the pageants. This is, ugh, why? She shouldn't have had kids. Pretty obvious, I mean, look at this title. Having a child for the purpose of putting them in beauty pageants. You shouldn't have kids if you're gonna be that selfish. These kids are no more than objects to this woman. And she was upset about having a boy because she thought she couldn't force him to do beauty pageants. Like, these children were just brought into the world for one specific purpose, like a product. And at this point, I just wonder what happens when they outgrow pageant age. Like, have they outlived their usefulness to her? Does she develop attachment to them beyond what her original purpose for them was? Next video coming up is sick. Not in a fun way, a bad way. The bad kind of sick. It's unforgettable bodybuilder disco routine and we have something astonishing six seconds into this video they airbrushed this poor little girl beyond belief this is awful she's four years old what is there to even get rid of if you look at the edges it's just oh my god everything i don't even know who's responsible for it i don't think tlc did it there's no context behind this photo. It appears for a second and then, oop, it's gone. So, I don't know who to blame for this, but it is bad. Here we go. Woo! Oh, good. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you did it perfect. I don't like judging people by any means, but you just see, like, a lot of people, you know, just, man, they just barely fit in their clothes. I mean, I'm seeing women walk around you know, love handles sticking out their shirt, and I'm just thinking, man, and you know, they're staring at me, judging me, and it's like, what are you teaching your daughter when you're walking around huge like that and out of shape? So this guy is saying he doesn't judge, and then he's pointing out all the fat on the woman around him, and then the editors and camera crew here are just zooming in on everyone's fat rolls intensely. It feels a little invasive, these poor women. I... I feel for them. They're just minding their own business, right? Going about their day, and then the TLC cameraman is just intensely zooming in on every fat crevice. So the time comes for the daughter to do her routine with her dad, and this outfit, it's not the literal worst thing in the world, but I am gonna cover it up. Don't feel it's appropriate, but it's kind of standard pageant stuff. But what's about to happen here sure isn't. So the dad is on the stage when the daughter is starting her routine. But then he comes back on in the middle of her routine, wearing only boxers, and starts dancing. TLC didn't censor it, but I'm going to. This man is only in his boxers, in a room full of children. It's nasty. I do have faith in humanity, though, since a lot of the comments are also agreeing that this is bad. Now, the reason the parents even thought this was a good idea is because the stepmom wanted to have her daughter win, because the judges were too distracted with her husband. She basically wanted to use this awful choice to make the routine more memorable. JD's gonna take his shirt off off stage and then show up on stage. And I know everybody's gonna go, <gasps> and the judges will remember her. Next video we have is Animal Pageant Takeover. And this next video, it's <laughs> everything awful about beauty pageants, but now, all of the bad pageant moms have access to animals and they have to get the animals ready for the stage too. They put makeup on a pig. Why? <laughs> PETA, stop playing Animal Crossing. And look, pig lipstick, animal testing. Now, one team brought in a zebra and another mom thought it went against the pageant's rules on weight limits for the animals. So, she threw a Karen fit. The paperwork clearly says can be any kind of pageant pet under 40 pounds in weight. Must be kept in a pet carrier until stage time. Keep it fair. Everybody sees a dog every day. Everybody sees frogs. Everybody sees cats. Everybody's seen snakes. They obviously have advantage over everyone with a big zebra. That is over 40 pounds. Look how cool it is. I don't care how cool it is. Be any kind of pageant pet under 40 pounds. Pounds in weight must be kept in a pet carrier. Only if you're staying in the hotel. No, no. That's the rules. It clearly says it on the paperwork. 
Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you because you're an older person and I respect you. And at the end of this fit, she decided it was time for her to trash talk a child. Just get beat anyway. She'll need that zebra to help her. Let's just put it that way. She decided to trash talk the kid. She's gonna need that zebra. It just looks like a comment I'd see on a T channel or some comment with the fairy emoji. No one here was having a good time. One family brought in a goat and there was goat waste all over the floor in the dressing room. No one wanted to pick it up. The owners of the goat refused to pick it up and the video just cuts off there. Oh my God. We do like poop everywhere. There was goat poop all over the hair and makeup room and a lot of kids are running around barefoot and there's like goat poop all over the floor is disgusting. Wait, is that your goat stuff on the floor? Probably is. Can we get that cleaned up? That's, That's really disgusting. Knock yourself out. It's yours. Yeah, knock yourself out. Clearly it's yours, you could tell. Luckily, I was able to find the rest of this situation on another video they uploaded to the channel by complete coincidence. It was titled something entirely different. Ultimate drama among the Tiara twins' parents. And the tension in the situation just rises here and it gets much worse. So let's take a look. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Oh, uh, really? Last time I saw you, you were in charge of nothing, bitch. You Bless do not it. say that about people. What is wrong with you? You can say whatever he wants to say. You can just tell some of these adults here peaked in middle school and are trying to live through their kids. There are no regards or concerns to how their kids should feel and what situations they should and should not be exposed to. The situation in this video, minus the goat poop, is actually pretty common on toddlers and tiaras. Just adults cursing each other out and trying to start fights in front of kids, it's really common. I also feel bad for them because they're in this situation and they're being televised. Like there's no privacy here. And now Goat Lady doesn't want to pick up her goat's poop after letting it wander around because she's lazy so she wants to make her daughter do it for her. Honey, honey, these little a** here would like to see a Cinderella story so can you pick up so that these butt can feel better about their life. No, 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 no. That looks really uncomfortable. Just using that language around her kid. My kids don't care. They'll be happy to pick up. We live on a farm, lady. Don't start and there won't be any. It's crazy how she's speaking for her kids. And if they live on a farm, why the hell isn't she comfortable with picking it up? When I'm stressed out and on pageant day is probably not the best time to get snippy with me. As if she's not the one who started this and greatly made the situation worse. I've just picked it up, guys. It's not even that scary. They're just tiny little droppings like, um, insert name brand chocolate cereal. That's all it is. Now, next video is Toddlers and Tiara's Twin Babies Big Dollars. <laughs> it's just not right. None of this is right. Yeah, this is the one where the lady spends multiple tuitions worth of money on her newborn's pageant dresses. They were in pageants before they were born. Everybody spends what they can afford. So we can afford it, so we spend it. I would say we've spent well over $250,000. So you're talking a quarter of a million to get the girls started. She spent over 250000 on her baby's pageants. Babies. Imagine what else could have been done with that money. I feel like most of you watching this, I feel like we could all think of better ways to spend this. You could put it towards tuition, down payment on a house. Even if you're rich, there are better things to buy. Things you could even donate to. Why pageants? Why pageants for your babies? They're going to instantly outgrow those things anyway. Do you see? how fast babies grow. They're like those dollar store grow in water dinosaurs. Like they're not gonna stay in those dresses for long. 70 dresses and they run anywhere from 1500 to two grand a piece. Oh my God. Girls are older. If they choose to compete against each other, then they have to realize that there's gonna be a winner, there's gonna be a loser, and they're gonna have to live with the outcome of that. It sounds like she's already preparing her babies for that grow up and deal with it mindset and they're fresh out of the womb, and she's only considered the possibility of them wanting to compete against each other. What if they just don't want to compete at all? Um, hear these babies like sound like you're killing them. Uh, that's because you are. You are killing your babies. Not literally, but in spirit. In essence, on the inside, they are withering away. Scarlett's just barely standing on her own. So we'll see if the judges take that into a court as far as them not walking. 
these kids are being professionally judged for how they look. They've been thrown into beauty competitions when they can't even walk yet. They don't even know what words are. They don't know where they are. They can't think for themselves or advocate for themselves and they're being forced into a lifestyle that is judgmental. And you know, at some points too, this show also looks predatory. And then some kids here are also showing insecurity and body image issues. Overall, not a great show. That sums it up. A show you probably could have gone your whole life without seeing. You wouldn't have missed anything good. It's just garbage parenting televised with a side theme of inappropriate scenarios for children. To the people who let this show air, I must ask why. I mean, money is why, I know that much, but this just was not the greatest thing I could have ever seen. Also, this wasn't one little sad forgotten mistake in the legacy of The Learning Channel. It aired from 2009 to 2016 with nine seasons and inspired three spin-off shows on the channel. Here comes Honey Boo Boo, Cheer Perfection, and Eden's World. I still don't understand why it's called The Learning Channel. I said it before and I'll say it again. It might be the hill I die on. Change your name, TLC. It doesn't make sense. On another note, I feel like the title of Toddlers and Tiaras is interesting. I might be reaching here, but bear with me. When I think of toddler, I think of tantrums, and yes, a lot of kids do throw tantrums or get upset in the show, but it's not in the same irrational sense most toddlers do. In fact, most people on this show that I've seen aren't even toddler age, some of them are 10, so they're not throwing toddler tantrums. If my mom was bleaching my teeth or spray tanning me against my will at their ages, yeah, I would be pretty upset too. I don't think it would be that outlandish to throw a tantrum. Something about the editing TLC has done combined with the title of the show makes me get this feeling that they're undermining the feelings of the kids. The whole existence of the show is just undermining the feelings of children. You know, I didn't really get too deep into this show in this video. I just wanted to draw attention to this and bring awareness to it like, wow. This was a thing. Pretty awful. I wouldn't mind revisiting this topic at some point in the future, but we'll cross that point if we get there. If you guys want to see it, let me know. But next week, I'm going to be moving on to a different topic, so I'd love to thank you all for sticking around to the end of this video. Very epic. I'd also love to once again thank some of the lovely people who have drawn fan art. Again, guys, this is very nice, super cool stuff. If you guys want to check out my socials, the links will be in the description. And I've reopened my Discord server. Don't know how long that'll last, but the link is in the description for those of you who want to join. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, every night is like a day. But oh, I'm feeling raised. As I know I'm running late. Let's wait just one more day. I know I'm running away from moments. What am I becoming? I guess something's broken.